since I have a new motto, I am no longer attracted to men that put me in my masculine energy. By that, I mean men that make me have to reach out first, make decisions, have the date ideas, and etc. It is actually a man's job to lead a woman when he enters a situation with her and set the foundations of the relationship. So if you're the one who always has to reach out to a man or put in the most effort and he's just sitting back and letting you do that, that kind of shows that he's more most likely in his feminine energy or he has trauma that he needs to work through that makes him want to be chased or whatever the thing is. But we're no longer chasing broken people. A lot of us women get caught up in trying to fix a man instead of just finding a man that is already healed and has worked through all that stuff. We ain't doing that no more. Allow a man to find you and let you be in your feminine energy. Black Ram the one three back at it again. You know why? Well, it's because this is therapeutic, man. Back again with another video, hence another therapy session. Today's topic and title is a B-dub says that it is tired of being masculine out here. Is the beast genuine about this or not? You be the judge. Let's get right into the video. The first red flag at the intro of this video is the fact that it used the word queens. As we know, that there is hardly anything queen like when it comes to the B-dub. As a queen has a king and who it serves and is loyal to. That's right out the gate. Next up, the B said it's no longer attracted to dudes who put the beast in its so-called masculine energy. Which means that most likely you were with many thuggos who couldn't do for self and leaned on this particular creature, possibly financially. This B-dub chased and pursued. Now it wants to be chased and pursued. Nah, nah, nah. Masculine I'm going to need you to keep that same energy with me as you did with all others. The creature always believes that by aging and weighing more, that in turn, it deserves more. But anyway, you know what type of channel this is, right? Yeah, this is a ratings channel. We see we judge the creature was created for you. So your opinion about it is everything. So feel free to give your rating of this particular fee beast in the comment section and I'll kick it off by giving my rating. The beast looks pretty basic. Nice lips. The face is nothing spectacular. Just a little above average. So I'm going to go with a solid six. What about you? Now. Let's break this video down piece by piece. It's time to put that heat on the beast, let's cook. This Black Round 313, and you know I have a list. A list of things to critique what was being said by the Babylonian beast. So here we go. Point number one. The creature said it doesn't want to reach out. Doesn't want to initiate an interaction because the creature says that this is masculine energy. This is a problem. Why? Because shouldn't the beast be the one calling and texting? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with showing that you are interested in me? Are you too good? Too prideful to make phone calls and send text messages now? Is that what it's come to? So now it's masculine to show a guy that you're interested in him. I guess this is a new movement now. Now the beast is obviously a 304, but now you want to play hard to get when you gave away everything so freely. Now you want to pose a challenge when it was once all so easy to get you. The nerve of these HOs, man. 
You want to answer text messages, but you don't want to send them. Why would I waste my time on such a thing as being the only one calling and texting? That's a weak position. Me personally, anytime I'm dealing with a fee beast that's new, initially for the first few days, I'll do the calling and the texting, but I always fall back. Because what's happening here, if the creature cannot initiate phone calls and text, that shows low interest and shows that the beast wants to be chased. And chasing the fee beast is never worth it. Never worth the chase. If the creature doesn't have the common courtesy or thought enough to reach out first, at least sometimes, then that's the problem. And it can only mean one thing. It means that the fee beast believes that it's better than me, better than you. If you think that I need to chase you by being the only one calling, then that says that you believe that your value is higher than mine. And that is no way to start a relationship, especially given the fact that the subject is physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually weaker than I. I'm talking about the very definition of the term inferiority. And this is obvious because the way that the beast was built and you want me to chase that which is supposed to serve me? Bet that, but don't hold your breath. Number two, basically the beast pretty much admittedly is used to catering to dudes. Nothing wrong with that. But now that you're older, you want to flip the script and make it solely about you by the fact that you said you're no longer interested in paying for dates, being the one that reaches out to make the decisions on where the date should be and how it should go. This means that you've done this many times over and over again. Now, some dudes think that The creature doing this, paying for dates, makes the guy weak. But I say no, as such is a form of servitude and showing high interest. So the creature should be taking you out and paying for dates. Think about it. If you meet a fee beast that calls you most of the time and wants to take you out and wants to decide where you go, that minimizes the work and responsibility that you have and you can sit back and be catered to like you deserve. It's a beautiful position to be in. A position which is actually quite natural as you are the prize and the beast is more of a liability and since we no longer live in traditional times. Well, the beast is dependent on you financially and also the beast is not a V but an H to the Izzo strong and independent therefore it's good to see some strength in independence and to see that strength and independence work to the benefit of the guy she's dating so yeah plan the date take me out pick me up in your drive remember you're not dealing with a fee beast that's broke right you're dealing with a creature with a mind of its own right Well, since you got your own bread and your own mind, take that mind and that bread and spend it on me. I deserve it. I am a king, right? But I guess through its experience in the particular fee beast, the subject at the beginning of the video, it's tired of doing the catering and wants to be catered to. But wait, wait, wait. Don't change when I meet you. I need you to stay the same. I want the same treatment. I want the same catering. I want the same planning. I want the same spending on me. If not, then I feel like I'm the one being cheated. Trying to cheat me out of something. What you did for him, you need to do for me tenfold, a hundredfold, a thousandfold. Matter of fact, a billion times more. Hence the term, the word, the title, Ram One Billion. Then number three, the creature goes on to talk about making the dating plans. If you don't want to make date plans, then don't complain about 
date plans being made by the guy you're with. Don't complain about the type of restaurant. Don't complain about being in a coffee shop. Don't complain about how expensive or not the dates are. If you want to plan them, then pay for them. If not, well, you take what you can get. And the real reason why you don't want to make date plans is because you don't want that responsibility. You want to sit back, be lazy and be catered to. You want the guy to be doing everything just because you're cute. You want a guy to make up for all of the time and the energy and the money that you invested in Thuggo. Now you want to play virtuous and do this courtship game of always being called and receiving text, attention, courtship, taking out on dates, have a chair pulled out for you. All the things that you never received because you were too busy in your so-called masculine energy dealing with thuggo in them. But nah, nah, nah. Again, don't change on me. Keep that same energy. We're equals, right? That's what you've been saying for years. Make those date plans then. Number four. The beast said that it doesn't want to make decisions that the guy should lead. Again, what happened to equality? What happened to strength and independence? I thought it was a good thing. I thought you all wanted to be leaders. I thought you enjoyed having Thuggo on a passenger side of the Nissan Altima. With his chair leaned all the way back. While you're in the driver's seat, making all of the decisions, paying the bills and determining the direction of everything. I guess now you want to be laid back in that seat, huh? But isn't that what you wanted? I thought that's what you liked. I thought you enjoyed the masculine role since you claim to do it so well. But you're tired now, huh? That's beneath you now, huh? So after you've done all of this for Thuggo and them, now you think it's your turn to receive such things. Again, no, keep that same energy. I don't want to accept less than what you gave to Thuggo. You paid for the dates and decided where to go. So come on. All right. I'll jump in the passenger side. I'll sit back and chill. Why you figure it all out. Think about it. Number five. It's not about your masculinity. Or I should say pseudo masculinity. What it's really about is the fact that you want to be chased, especially as you age, become heavier, meaner and with more bodies. Now the beast thinks that it's more valuable and deserves to be pursued at this point. Silly succubus. What's really going on is this. You don't want the responsibility of leadership that you cried for for decades. You don't want the responsibility that the strength and independence calls for. The strength and independence that you claim to have. You don't want to be held accountable for the equity, the equality that you screamed about. You don't want to reach out first through calls and text messages because your ego says that this should be done for you. So which one is it? Do you want to be the damsel in distress, the darling, the sweetheart, the helpless one? Or do you want to be strong and powerful? Such a confused creature. And the game is this. When it benefits you, you want to be oh so helpless. When it benefits you, you want to be also strong. Such a hypocrite and walking contradiction, right? And this is why many of us avoid the succubus at all costs. Such a confused being. Now, most guys don't mind taking the lead, reaching out first, planning the dates and telling you how the relationship is going to go. But soon as you get that type of guy, there's a problem and you use the term controlling to describe his leadership. And the term controlling is arguably one of the words or definitions of leadership. 
So here's the thing with the B-dub. Again, when it's convenient, when it's beneficial, especially financially, you want to be the baby doll. You want to be feminine. You want to be taken care of when it's convenient and beneficial. Then on the flip side, when it's convenient, when there's a benefit, especially financially, now you want to be strong and independent. Again, all I'm saying is be dub pick a side. Choose which one you want to be. If you want to be the leader, go ahead. This is why you get thuggo anyway. So you can have that financial and so-called educational advantage over him. So that you can feel more dominant, more in control. That's why you go for thuggo. Thuggo who is uneducated and has a record, right? You want that control. But now you want to level up and get a responsible guy so you can be taken care of. Nah, nah, nah. Either stay with Thuggo and them or bring that same energy to me and pay and serve. Again, such a confusing creature. You want to be the boss, then you don't want to be the boss. Make your mind up. And here's what we know for sure. If the beast really likes a guy, particularly if he's broke, like Thuggo, the creature will spare no expense. I can't tell you how many females that I met that were attractive, made good money, educated, but completely took care of Thuggo. I'm talking about during the initial courtship phase, the beast will go and pick him up, take him out to dinner, buy him shoes and clothes, and eventually move Thuggo in. Thuggo is unemployed. He might do a few side hustles that don't bring in much real money and spend most of his time laid up at the crib, but that's okay, right? This is what the beast wanted. This was the so-called phase that the beast was in. But again, don't change now. Keep going, masculinisha. You took care of Thuggo, but you don't want to take care of me? You don't want to take me out for a meal? You don't want to buy me an outfit? Sounds like you're trying to play me. And you know my rules, fellas. Again, I say, if you can't do for me what you did for him, then I don't need you. Been saying this for years, one of my mottos. Again, if you did it for him, Five times, I needed a billion times. Ram, one billion. And if you can't do this, you're not worthy of me because you're trying to play me. And only the SIMP gets played and I'm far from that. So again, which one is it? Are you strong and independent or needy and dependent? Pick a side or suck you by. Again, such a confused creature. And this is why it's best to stay away from the beast. So in closing, don't give the beast what it wants. It chased the guys in its past. Don't let the creature make up for it in your future. Don't be its savior. Don't be the SIMP that it gets to make up for all of the mistakes and regrets. Don't be the cleanup guy. Don't be the pickup guy. Don't be the guy that the beast says, you know what? I got this right now. Let me be the one who uses. Do not let the creature redeem itself with you. Let the creature stay in its delusional, confused mind state. Don't play the creature's game. And you accomplish this by keeping it at a distance. Don't take the creature seriously. Keep it casual and occasional. Pump and let the creature dump. The catch and release method by Black Ram 313 because we don't date. We recreate. And the beast is exhibit A on why we do this. Black Ram 313, I'm out.